It was just over a year ago when we started getting alerts from Metro Atlanta school districts about closures due to COVID-19. Back then, we thought it would be a short break, but as we saw, that was not the case. And a year later, many kids are finally returning to the classroom. Liza Lucas explains how some kids are thriving in the new wave of online learning. When classrooms closed, schools across the country pivoted in the wake of an emerging pandemic. 11 Alive was there as students dealt with the hurdles of the digital classroom. In those early days, systems like those in Forsyth County crashed as students logged on. Going back to school, servers like Gwinnett's got overwhelmed, while some in Atlanta public schools struggled with a Zoom outage. But for some kids, the new option led to new success. I've learned during this time that we've been home and online is she's a self motivator. She always did well in school, but I did not know that she was so bored. Michelle Smith's daughter not only thriving in remote learning, she's teaching herself Japanese. The fifth grader will soon join Fulton County Schools new Fulton Academy of Virtual Excellence. A lot of families have realized that the virtual option is working for them. It's working for their lifestyle. It's working for their children and they want to continue that. According to the district, more than 700 families of Fulton's 90,000 students have committed to the full-time virtual school. We've learned a lot over the year. I think all of America has learned a lot over the year and there are ways to connect students virtually that we never dreamed. The trend to continue online options, a national one. A recent RAND survey showed two out of 10 districts have already adopted, plan to adopt, or are considering virtual school as an option after the pandemic. A statement from Georgia's Department of Education says they're confident families can decide what context suits their child's needs, adding they, quote, believe most students thrive best in a face-to-face -face environment, but for some students, high-quality full-time online education offers a good alternative. It was an alternative Michelle Smith never would have explored had it not been for the pandemic. I'm just grateful for the opportunity to learn something new about my daughter and see her do well in it. Michelle says her daughter has been able to juggle online school, keeping up with her friends and her extracurricular activities. We asked the Fulton County District about the digital divide issues, and they tell us the school plans to offer students in the virtual program a laptop and a hotspot if they need it.